What's good, YouTube? Today, I'm going to be showing you four ways on how you can increase your FPS in Warzone 2, and I'm going through all my in-game settings, out-of-game settings, even bio settings, and then we're going to be going through just a nice little refresh of something as well. These four settings, I trust me, I've listened to all of the YouTube videos, and I've watched over 100 plus hours of YouTube videos and YouTube setting contents, and nothing has helped more than these last two videos that I've been watching and I gotta give credit where credit's due. I saw uh, one YouTube video that helped me explain this a little bit, so I will show that in the video. And then I saw a uh, one of uh, Nick Merck's moderators actually helped me personally and gave me some help on what to do to help my FPS and I hope it'll help you. I know a lot of people have been struggling with FPS in this game and I just hope that everyone can get a fair game and it will, it's not just the streamers that can get up to 200. Hopefully some of us can as well. So without further ado guys, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into Obviously, it. Obviously I will go down with my in-game settings because I have maxed out my FPS and I get now around, if I'm streaming close to 100, but if I'm not streaming, I'm getting around 150 FPS in Warzone 2, which is really good. So we're going to go through this really quickly. We got all the basic stuff. You should know all this by now. You, I know you've watched videos and none of them have helped you that much. I promise you this one will when we get into it. Just stick around for a little bit. All of this will be the same. Let's just go on to quality. I've learned that the best one is going to be um, fidelity cast, and we're going to only put this at 80. Don't don't max it out if you, especially unless you have a super high MPC, just kind of keep it low. 70 to 80 is where you want to keep it. 70 if you're a little bit lower. Make sure you use Phil Mac SMA 2T. If you have a super end, super, super low PC, use SMA. The, the first one kind of just makes your PC, honestly, it makes the game looks a lot worse. It makes it look like more bulky a little bit bigger but like more like it just it doesn't look good so a couple fps will make a big difference i would stick with filmic unless you need 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 the fps go to sma but stick with filmic we're gonna be putting this on low and we're gonna put our me video memory scale to 80 i do see a lot of people maxing this out and ultimately for what i've seen kind of just my other stuff has kind of helped it um and this is including i still have a thousand uh other stuff in my apps i haven't done my startups yet so we can go through that pretty much put everything to low for de te details and texture we're going to do normal for our texture resolution again if you're super low pc we can go to very low i wouldn't go there i'd go to stick to low this is if your game's going to look good texture re resolution is going to be one of the bigger ones everything else not not worth it low 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 let's put our distance to long or no, 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 let's put our clutter draw distance to short, I mean. And there's a way you can make this even shorter if you want, but I'm not going to go into that. Then let's do our particle quality to high, uh, the particle quality to low. I put bullet impacts on. I think it kind of can determine your game if you know someone shot there, if you know someone did something to that door. You know, it might help a little bit. Make sure you turn this off. This is a big one. This will leave an explosion mark on the ground. It's just going to make your FPS worse and make your game cause more memory into it. It's not worth it. Shader quality. Let's keep this on low. Let's put this on near. On on demand texture res streaming. Make sure you turn this off. This is also a very big one. Make sure you turn it off. If you turn it on, you're pretty much telling the game you need more power. It says effect is low on the CPU, but it's big on the GPU. So that's where they're not telling you that. Our streaming quality, all this stuff will not matter. Let's turn all of it to low and let's make sure our water quality is turned to default. Any of these other ones will make a big difference. You don't you don't want that. Let's turn all of these to lower off for our shading light and for sure shading lights. Uh, make sure ambient occlusion is off as well. Then let's turn off all these and let's put that to low. And then for NVIDIA reflex low latency, I just have mine on on boost on 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 boost is never a bad option, though. In fact, high in CPU bound. C GPU clock frequencies are kept high. I'm going to turn this on, actually. I'm going to turn this on because if you look up here, my CPU time is double my GPU time. So I think that's what it's saying is that if you have a GPU clock frequencies are kept high in CPU bound cases, this can reduce latency but will increase GPU power draw. So it's increasing the GPU load and lowering the CPU time which is for me, make sure you look at your CPU, CPU to GPU time because that can make a big difference for you. So if your GPU is higher than your CPU, then you might want to turn this to just on. 
if you have your CPU like mine at double your GPU, you want to turn this on, on boost. And then make sure you turn all this stuff off. Um, I'll just go through what I have. I have 120 affected wide, 90 wide, and I turned first person camera movement to least. I'll be honest, I just watched a YouTube video and they just said to do it. So I just kind of went with it. Uh, without that being said, that's kind of all of our end game settings. Uh, I can show you, I'll show you the, I'll show you the interface real quick in case you haven't seen it, but I'm, again, by now you probably have. We're going to do filter to both 100, 100 and default. Kind of it. All right, let's get into the main important stuff here. Um, put this off to the side here. Give me one second. Okay. Oh, what's happening? I'll just edit this out. Okay, on to the third important kind of tier list. We're having our war zone settings. They're in the last, you know, war zone settings. Everyone makes videos on those. This is where another one is at, but you've probably seen videos on this too. I'll go through it super quick and we'll get it done with. We're gonna have off, off, application controlled, off. We're gonna put gamma correction to on. Um, both of these turn to application controlled, off, off. CP GPUs is just going to be the one that you have. So if you hit the drop down menu, it's just going to be the only one you have. So it'll say all for you. Um, DSR factors and smoothness, turn those off. Low latency mode, you really want that on. It'll keep you from getting kind of spikes in your lag and kind of stuff like that. So power, power supplies, uh, all of those, you want low latency on. Max frame rate, just turn that off. You don't want to just max your frame rate out just for Warzone. If you play Minecraft, you don't want it to max out at 60 for Warzone, but it's 60 for Minecraft. So you can run the Minecraft a lot longer. Do off for that. Um, G-Sync compatible, turn that to, wait, is that an option? It might be on fixed refresh, turn that to G, uh, G-Sync compatible, that's a big one. Um, turn that off, auto, turn that to the, your GPU. I have this, I'll make sure this one is to perform maximum performance, it's gonna be on normal. Make sure you do your max performance. You want it to get, to draw out the most power to get it. Uh, preferred refresh rate, do it highest available. That's gonna be pretty much what your monitor can put in FPS back to you. So this is 165, you can produce 165 FPS right back to me. Uh, make sure you turn this to 100. We're gonna do on, allow. Make sure you turn this to high performance. We're gonna do on, on, triple buffering to off. Vertical sync, just use the 3D application. Um, and then virtual, reality pre-rendered frames make sure that is one it might be i think zero or used to the application it should, oh no it should be set on one make sure you keep it at one then let's turn that off and turn that to auto that's kind of all it is for that then now to two of the bigger things that i found out as of today matter of fact and that's going to be our we're going to go into documents we're going to find call of duty we're going to go to players and all of these, there's going to be a lot more for you guys. I just reset mine. That's why. So you're going to have to watch this video back. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. And you can copy down the settings I had in game. But if you want to do this good, you drag your players into your recycle bin. Now I've already done mine, so I'm not going to do it, but you make sure you clear your recycle bin out, of course. So you just drag it in there. Boom. Empty recycle bin. What that does is there are like duplicates of your player logs in there and it's causing FPS draw to counter for those. You don't need to do that. They just need one go. I probably had a list that was all the way down to here and I deleted it and now it's all the way up there. This helped a little bit in my frames. I did notice a big one, but this next tip is by far, and I mean by far the biggest help that you can have. I'm gonna turn my music a little bit up so that you can hear this. I just did this and I was getting around 120 max FPS without recording or anything. I just jumped up to 165 max FPS, which is what I had mine on after doing this. And it is what you're wanting to do is enable your XMP. So I think this dude does a really good video uh, job about it. And his name's Mar Mara Scott. And the only reason I found out to the only reason I found out that that works is because of Ulite T. 
he is Nick Merckx, actually. He's Nick Merckx's moderator, and Nick Merckx was having the same problem I had in Warzone. I'm using the best of the best graphics. I'm getting horrible FPS. What's wrong? UT Lee told me, make sure your RAM is tuned or has XMP enabled in BIOS if it doesn't already. I didn't have mine enabled. I just enable it and he will show you how to enable it. All you do is click on that XMP. That's all you do. You can see right here under DRAM status that I have two of the four RAM slots populated and that each one has eight gigabytes of RAM in it with a base clock of 2133 megahertz. Uh, just below that is a field I can click on with my mouse or navigate to using the arrow keys on my keyboard that says XMP disabled. If I click on that field with my mouse or hit enter on it, uh, you see that's what it should look like when you enable it. He'll go, he goes into like more detail about it. And he also, I'll link this video in the description below because he also went into the point of some people, this is what well, the screen that he was on was called easy, easy mode. There's an advanced mode, which some people don't have that easy mode where you can just click it. You have to do more steps. So he explains it down the line right here, as you can see advanced mode, I'll put this video in the description so that you guys can check it out. If that easy mode isn't there for you. I'm sure it is, but just in case I want to help you guys out. That's going to be my four tips or four helpful FPS guides for you guys. If that did help, make sure to leave a comment down below letting me know. And if it didn't, make sure to comment down if there's something else that I can maybe help you with. Again, I have spent a long time trying to find FPS boosters for myself at least. And these four have personally helped me a lot. And I've gone from probably a 50 to 60 FPS boost in range. So I would say that that is very helpful. But anyways, guys, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. That makes me know that I know that you like the content. If you guys want to see more Ashika Island or more Warzone ranked content, leave a like down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.